Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Shay Shanique. Like, comment, and subscribe. You'll love it here. Today is Christmas Eve. I am cooking and um, chilling. My children just got here. Well, two of them just got here. We are going to um, watch Christmas movies, bake some cookies, and chill out like until midnight. And I'm going to let my 13 year old open his gift that I got him for Christmas. But before then, I'm going to make them go in the room while I stuff their stockings. Um, I just got some snacks and stuff from the Dollar Tree. And I want them to figure out whose stocking is who. Because I didn't put their names up there. But I want them to figure out whose stocking belongs to who. So, I'm going to make them go in the room while I fill their stockings. That's basically it. My son, my oldest son, want to play some games. Um, I'm cooking. Christmas is at my sister's house this year, not my mother's house. So, me and her is cooking. What's on the menu? I'm cooking fried fish, baked barbecue chicken, fried shrimp, and I'm gonna fry some chicken, um, potato salad, cabbage, and turkey wings. Did I have anything else that I need to make? And I'm gonna bake some cookies for tomorrow. Um, I think she's gonna make macaroni and cheese, deviled eggs, yams um buffalo chicken dip and what else i know i'm missing something i gotta be missing something i don't remember but i'll put it somewhere um that's basically it we're just doing simple traditional Christmas food. I can't wait to get with my family. We're going to play some games tomorrow also. And I sent my niece to the store to get some paint and stuff and some coloring so we can color in the coloring books and paint. Just, you know, keep us busy. Do something different because we, we play games often. But I want us to color. I love color. I miss coloring. So I want to color and paint. So just do a little different things this year um, outside of the norm or whatever because we usually play uno play cards you know jenga stuff like that but this year i want to do something artistic because i'm artiste but that's basically it i'm chilling it is christmas eve i got some stuff in the oven um i was gonna do my makeup tonight but i really don't want to because going in and out the oven i don't want my makeup to melt off my face Y'all hear that 13 year old in there playing a game? And as soon as I hear the first cuss word, I'm, he getting off. But I hope you enjoy your Christmas. I know we will enjoy ours. It has been quite a rough week for us though, cause we lost someone at our job. Um, and the situation was, was uh, very very different um, but mm, I'm praying for the family and um, the sons that also work at the job with us and the daughter-in-law and the wife just the entire family because I know that was a tragic loss right before the holidays as well so mm, but yeah I will, we will be, my family will be attending the funeral because um, he was well known at our job and he was a very nice man. And yeah, it's just, it's been a little, a, a rough week. So all in all, I hope everybody enjoys their holidays. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow because I'm going to vlog a little bit tomorrow. I'm going to wake up in the morning and do the fragrance video and then I'm going to vlog some tomorrow because I want to post the video. Um, either tomorrow night or Tuesday because you know Christmas is on a Monday this year so either tomorrow night because um, if I can hurry up and edit this video uh, I can go ahead and post it so that's why I love having my Apple products because I can airdrop this to my laptop or I can edit on my CapCut um, app that I have up here and just hurry up and edit and post this video on YouTube. So hopefully I can do that. I'll just be doing that while I'm sitting down for a second. It ain't gonna take me but so long. 
but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna airdrop it to my laptop and then edit and then post it or whatever. So if not tomorrow, then I'm gonna edit on Tuesday morning and um or Tuesday when we come from the funeral I'll edit I don't know we'll figure I'll figure it out but enjoy your holiday and I purchased me a new phone I purchased the iPhone 15 Pro Max something like that I think I think that's what that is that's what I'm recording on for now so in the cinematic mode so hopefully when I upload it's a lot clearer because my quality of my camera is great, but sometimes when I upload it, the, the stuff be distorted. I don't know what that's about. Maybe I'm uploading in the wrong settings or something. I don't know. I'm still trying to learn how to do certain things. So, But I love the quality of this camera um, on this phone. Hopefully, I don't have to tote around my big camera anymore. Although, this phone was more expensive than my camera truthfully by the time i paid for the accessories the case the 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 screen protector privacy screen thing like 1300 dollars like wait what hold on okay well yeah i knew what i was signing myself up for i even said in the last vlog i wanted a 15 but did i have to do pro max i don't know but either way i like the quality of the camera so i mean i just bought myself a christmas gift that's all that was so yeah i'm gonna get me what i want i got one life to live so that's just what it is um i'm thinking about getting an ipad do i need it i don't know somehow i was an android girl somehow i was an android girl now i have apple products and i blame my kids because they all had an iphone and it was like mom get an iphone so we could facetime and that was years ago i got an iphone then i end up getting a Apple Watch. Then I end up getting a, a laptop. Uh, what's that there? Uh, one. What's the name of that air? That, that laptop. I don't know. It's one of the newest ones. I don't, I don't know. Um, then I got the AirPods. Somehow I became an Apple girly. And I think it's because it's so easy to airdrop things. It's convenient for me. I'm going to just say it's the convenience of it. I don't know if Android has an airdrop setting. If it does, can somebody let me know? But um, I'm not buying any more phones for quite a while. So yeah, I have, right now I have like three iPhones and one Android. I use two iPhones and I'm not even using my Android. And then one of the iPhones, it wasn't working for a while. Now it mysteriously, mysteriously want to work. So whatever, I just have a backup phone if need be. So. This phone is my main personal phone, then I have a business line phone, then TJ has an iPhone, and then I have an extra iPhone, and there's an Android. Ask me how that happened. I don't know. I do know, but it's just a long story. Whatever. Either way, I love this phone. I like the quality. Let's see how it uploads, though. These little mini baby wolves are wonderful. I need to clean up. Mm -mm. I don't like stuff all over the floor, so. But I can't wait till I'm done with the video so I can put this stuff up. I'm done putting, well, I'm done with my food that needed to be in the oven tonight. So, like, my turkey wings and my barbecue chicken. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to make some potatoes or not. Um... I don't know, but we'll see. But when I was laying here, as I was lying here, laying here, lying here, whatever you say, I was just thinking, um, 2024 is approaching in a few days. And, um, yeah, it's a lot of things and people that I have outgrown and I'm no longer going to subject myself to certain things and conversations. I don't have it in me. I'm not going to force myself. It's some things and some people I've already let go because it's just the energy is not good. But there's certain people that I just know that it, I need to let go to move forward. And I don't know, maybe you need to too.
Yeah, that's squeaky. I need some WD-40 for this chair. Sound like my neighbor's bed upstairs. I need to go grab me some WD-40, but I'm back. Today is Wednesday, and happy belated Merry Christmas. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> today was a funeral. Actually, I thought it was going to be on Tuesday, but I had the wrong information. So today was the funeral. Um, when people asked, how was the funeral? Um, it was fine. It was actually a good home going service. So I'm not going to, uh, it wasn't uh, too emotional. I didn't see anything. It wasn't anything out the normal. So it was actually fine. The funeral service, the home going service for him was good. Today is, uh, I guess I'm a film today. I guess I, I'm gonna try to do a, I'm not gonna try it. I don't know. It's a, uh, that lady came knocking on the door this month and I'm drained. I really just want to crawl up in the bed, put my furry socks on, and go to sleep. But I'm going to push through because I have things to do. Bars. So, uh, I got all this stuff out that I've had out for the last, like, three, four days. And I still have not done a fragrance video yet. I guess I'm not really in the mood to talk. You know how you get in your moods. Today is just one of those moods. It's been raining off and on all day. So I got rained on. Um, the drive was like 45 minutes to get to um, the church. So it was deep out there, which is fine. Gave me time to drive and think. Um, and that's basically it. Then I ended up going to the office. I didn't even plan on, but I had stuff that I need to do there. I set up my new printer there. So I, I was able to do some things that I didn't even have on my schedule for today, but uh, I'm glad it got done because it needed to be done. And then also, um, I went to Super Chicks and got me another chicken sandwich because I I love the chicken sandwiches. And I ended up getting me an eggnog milkshake. And that was good, actually good. I just, I'm just, I can't drink a lot of it though because my stomach doesn't agree with it, but it, it was very good though some of it. I, I sipped it a couple of times. I think I'm going to just give it to my son and see if he likes it or whatever. But that's as about as much as I have to give. And let's hope I don't struggle to do this video. Uh, I might just go edit this video and post it. I know it's going to be a short little uh, vlog, but I don't know. You know how you get in your moments of silence? And that's just where I'm at. I don't have really too much to say at all. My mind is just going, going, going. But I don't have too much to say, and that's just where I'm at with it. I know I have things and goals. Um, the first is coming up soon, and I'm not one to usually do New Year's resolutions or revolutions, as my son say, New Year's revolutions. I'm like, son, what? resolutions but i do want to change a lot of things so i'm working on that um and that's basically it don't have too much going on i have to work in the morning I haven't been to work in like the last four or five days i just needed a break but then i'm like Ugh, it's ghetto i gotta work <laughs> But it's okay. It's all good. Uh, get me out the house, I guess. I guess. Gotta make some money because these bills aren't going to pay themselves. Okay? So, that's basically it. That's all I got. Ain't got no more. But other than that, I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. Christmas holiday. Um, I know I did. I was with my family. And I ain't gonna lie though. After I got finished cooking all that food, I wanted to yell out, bun humbug, and put on a Grinch outfit. 
<laughs> my back was hurting so bad. Like I don't, that's usually stuff that my mom does. And I hand it, I, I give it to her cause who doing that again? Who? Oh no, and all I did was fry some food. Oh no, she usually do everything. And me and my sister, she had her stuff, I had my stuff. And, and what? No. Mm-mm. It was, a, and it was a lot of food left over. Like, no. Not doing that again. We're gonna have to come up with something. Maybe everybody could bring a dish or something. But, oh no. Ma, why you do that every year? Every holiday. Not even every year, every holiday. She's cooking like, and she usually cook up way much, way more food than we do. Girl, no ma'am, I needed like, what? Four ibuprofen afterwards. I didn't take anything. I just went home, took a shower, went to sleep. But sheesh. Mm -mm. Just invite me and ask me to bring the sodas and the paper plates next time. Because what? But no, we had a good time. All the food was good. And we were just... uh chilling for real we watched did we watch a movie we watched a movie or something we was gonna paint and do some stuff but we really didn't even do all that we was just chilling and talking and uh what we ended up watching a movie and that's it well watched half of a movie we came in me and my boys came in on half of a movie and we finished watching that and that's basically it we was just chilling so i hope you guys had a merry christmas and what y'all doing for New Year's? You know, I never went out for New Year's before. Never. New Year's Day. But I don't ever remember, like, being in a club somewhere, bringing in a New Year, counting down. I don't think. Or, like, a bar or somewhere different. I've been to, um, where the church home maybe in a um a, at a resort last year was at a resort brought in new year's um and then where else oh a friend's house before i have at a friend's house once before but never like out in public and i don't i don't really have an interest to do that but what do y'all do for new year's I don't think I ever made like any black eyed peas. I know people do traditional stuff like um, some people say they don't let that a man walk through the door first or something. I don't know. Um, and they cook black eyed peas for New Year's or the only thing that I like to do is have my house cleaned real good. Like my windows, wipe all the mirrors, um, clean the floors, everything needs to be clean before I leave out of here. If I decide to go somewhere else or something like when I went to the resort, I made sure everything was clean before I left. Um, and then usually if I'm at home, make sure everything's clean before the new year comes in. That's basically it. I don't have any uh, superstition traditions or anything like that for the new year. I just clean up. What do y'all believe in? Should I make some black eyed peas? I know they said something about eating that 12 grapes under the table. I'm going to do that. Um, I think on the 31st, I'm going to write in my journal. Because I have a list. I mean, a list of things that I need done on every aspect. Financial, love, health. I mean, everything. Family, everything. So, yeah. I'm going to rewrite that list. Add some stuff to it, and I might just take some stuff away. And that's basically it. I'm going to... Should I burn it? Hmm. What do people do? I don't know. We'll see. Y'all let me know what y'all do on the New Year's, uh, New Year's Eve. Do you write things down, burn them? Do you make black eyed peas? Do you let a man walk through your door? Um, do you... Do you uh, blow the cinnamon. Uh, what? Tell me something. Learn. I, I want to learn something new. I'm willing. 
We, as in my sister and I, will be 42 February 11th. So, I'm still trying to figure out things to do for my birthday. Really don't do much. But I do want to do something different this year. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, sis. What we doing for our birthday? Are we taking a trip? Because I know you're watching this. Are we going to take a trip? What we're going to do? I'm going to let you plan it since you're the oldest. Let me see. This chair. But, um, we need to figure out something. 42 years old. These years went by so fast. So fast, they did. They are going back really, really fast. Life is short, really is. So, my goal as far as traveling this year, I wanna travel. I wanna go somewhere, I wanna do some things. I just don't wanna be at work a lot. I wanna be able to enjoy my family and my life because the type of job I have, it will suck you into a rabbit hole and you'll be there for two days not realizing that you've been at work stuck. So I just want to live and be at peace and joy the time that I do have left because nothing is guaranteed. So yeah. Let me not be all sappy because uh, uh, I went to a funeral today, so you know how that can be. But life is short, and if nobody told you today, I love you. Somebody might need to hear that. I love you. Mm. Give somebody a compliment. Call somebody you haven't talked to in a while. Check on people. Do that. I don't care if nobody checks on you. You still be the person that checks on someone. Do something nice. But let me go. Because I'm going to edit this video and post it. I guess. Uh, what time is it? I don't even know. I don't have my Apple Watch on. And I don't even. I don't even know if this time is right. I think I need a new battery in this watch. Cause I don't even, is it moving? Is that the right time? Say it's 6.35. No. 5.35. I don't know. But either way, thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time.